Hi hey gang, Jack Allaire here. Just uh, back with another pickups video. I've uh, been sick for a while. Also pulled the hamstrings, so I haven't been able to get around a while. I uh, actually managed to pick up quite a bit. Uh, switched a lot of my bidding to online instead of wandering around uh, locally. And it paid off as far as I'm concerned. Uh, let me start with a few of the things that I uh, bought through Amazon. Um, start out with uh, one of the things that's inspired by a classic game room. Uh, he's done a review of Dead or Alive, the series, and I actually found uh, a brand new copy of Dead or Alive Ultimate for the Xbox. Uh, it comes with uh, Dead or Alive 1 and 2, the up versions for the Xbox. Uh, it comes with instruction manuals, comes with the cards, uh, all the fun stuff there. Now, I also ordered... Uh, three different Dreamcast games that I had been, uh, two I had been looking for, one that uh, I had never heard of before, so decided to go ahead and get it. The first one is Space Channel 5. Now, anybody who's ever had a Dreamcast knows that Space Channel 5 is one of the better and more quirky games uh, that we came out for the system. Now, I like playing it on the original Dreamcast rather than playing any of the updated versions just because that's the kind of guy I am. Now it came complete with the hologram uh, that I don't know if the camera will pick up but it did come with that. Now that came like new. I uh, also picked up Soul Fighter brand new in the package. I uh, watched a few videos of this and decided to pick it up and give it a shot. I love me some fighting games. I think Sega made some really fun ones back in the day. And the one that I had never heard of before is Coaster Works, Build the Ride of Your Dream. Now I played uh, the Sim Coaster and Roller Coaster Tycoon, I played those before, but I never heard of this. So I decided to pick it up and give it a shot. Once again, came new, opening, unopening the package. Now for uh, eBay purchases, I really didn't win much. Uh, one of the things that I did win is the Midway Arcades Treasures 2. Now I'll be doing a review of this. This has some amazing games on it. Some that I didn't remember, some that I did. Uh, Mortal Kombat 2 and 3 are the ones that dragged me in. But it's also got uh, one of the big surprises was, where is it? Total Carnage, which is kind of like the update to Smash TV for those of you who don't know. Now. Uh, taking a step over to, I found a new uh, local pawn shop that I decided to stop by and picked up, they had Xbox games for two dollars each. Now their system was down and because of the, the wait time they decided to let me have them for five bucks. So I picked up Amped, Freestyle Snowboarding, Flat Out 2, Rayman Arena and ATV2 Quad Power Racing or ATV Quad Power Racing 2. I actually thought this was ATV Fury 2 because I want to play the hockey game with uh, ATVs. I come, I come from the north, just blame that. But got those, five bucks for four games, couldn't complain. Uh, stopped by uh, movie trading company or vintage stock as it's called in some places and they had uh, three for ten so I picked up Blood Omen 2 Legacy of Kane. I love the series even though this is kind of the weakest of the series it's actually uh, used to explain a loophole in the plot of the main series uh, Time Splitters 2 which I haven't played uh, this disc is actually really scratched up so I'm gonna have to get it resurfaced or take it back Either way, they had another copy there, so I know I'm good there. And Dance Dance Revolution Ultramix. Now I have Ultramix 2 and 3, didn't have Ultramix 1, and now I do. Two games that I couldn't remember if I've brought up before or not, so I just decided to kind of throw in here. Uh, if you've been watching my videos for a while, you know that I've picked up and put this game down about 9 or 10 times, just over the course of me shopping, and it's Enclave. Now, uh, 
this is just a, a good, fun game. It's kind of reminiscent of the Elder Scrolls series. Um, but grabbed that. I also grabbed uh, the two packs, Sega GTA, Jet Set Radio Future for the Xbox. I've been having fun picking up the weird Xbox containers uh, and got both of those at Half Price Books. Picked up two Atari games, uh, Kangaroo, which it's the crappy version of Kangaroo for the Atari 2600, but I didn't remember that. I remember the ColecoVision in my head, the ColecoVision version, but got that. Also picked up uh, Donkey Kong for the Atari, and the reason I did that is because I find it funny that it is Donkey Kong by Nintendo. It is for the Atari computer system, and it's published by Coleco. So it's got three different, soon to be competing console manufacturers on here. I found that hysterical. Now as far as PC games, I actually picked up Mortal Kombat 3 for the PC. I'm kind of impressed uh, with this. I don't even know if it'll run, but it's Windows 95 and MS-DOS, so I picked it up there. Now this is the one that I'm most impressed with. Let me see if I can not blind you guys with a reflection. This is Wing Commander 1 and 2, plus all the bonus packs. Uh, I picked it up for $2. Now as you can see up in the corner here, it's got the original Babbage's price of $42.99. Now that gives you an idea of what the prices for PC games were back in 1994. Now the fun thing is, is that this is also, you guys don't know this, but this actually has the Origin label on it. Now for those of you who now know the current Origin, which is the download service by EA, which is... Uh, this is when Origin was actually a name worthy of anything. Now the last thing that happened is I happened to wander into a uh, movie trading company once again. Went in there and they had a box sitting there of things like this. Games with cases but no, or with manuals but no cases. And the box said five dollars off. Well I took a look through and some of the games were five ninety nine. So I said well I can't pass that up. So, and I've got a bunch of boxes over there. I'll print out the the wrappers the, for the cases. Boom! Complete as far as I'm concerned. Uh, Max Payne 2, The Fall of Max Payne for the Xbox, 99 cents. Soul Calibur 2 for the Xbox. This is the only one I was missing. Uh, now I have it. 99 cents. ATV Off-Road Fury. This is the first game that I ever played online with my original PS2. Sadly, the servers aren't up anymore, so I won't be playing this one. But, it's still good to have. 99 cents. Uh, Dragon Ball Z Budokai for the PS2. Uh, just kind of building up my PS2 collection. That and uh, another YouTuber keeps telling me that this is a good game despite being a, a Dragon Ball Z. Then again, I also have my friend who tells me that the revamped Dragon Ball Z actually makes sense in the English version. Uh, picked this up. It just sounded like a fun game. Maybe it's just that I watched the Super Bowl. By the way, congratulations to the uh, New York fans out there. Uh, the NFL Fever 2003 for the Xbox. It's a football game. It looks like kind of a fun football game rather than the... Anyway. And this one I have to give to Steve Benway. Uh, he's been doing some racing games lately and it made me just absolutely nuts that I didn't have my favorite racing game from the Xbox. And I found it there and it's Need for Speed Underground. Now don't ask me why I like this game. I don't know. It's fun. That's all I can tell you, because it's, when you look at it, the racing's not that great, the handling's okay, the plot is paper thin, if, if that. But, it was originally $12.99, was supposed to be $5 off, she rang it up wrong, got it 99 cents. Can't complain. Happy, happy that uh, we're going to be doing that. Uh, also, on to uh, kind of weirder things, uh, one of the local thrift stores had uh, Spy Hunter 
for the PlayStation 2. Now I actually like Spy Hunter Nut, don't ask me. I think it's just a theme that got stuck in my head since I was a child. But no, no case, no manual, but got the disc for, uh, it was half off, 99 cents. I uh, also picked up Dead to Rights. Now it was supposed to be $9.98. Uh, it's a white sticker, so it was supposed to be half off that day. They rang it up as 99 cents, it showed up as 50 cents. So I got Dead to Rights, complete, 50 cents. Now, never played this game, but I've always wanted to. It was always one of those ones that I was like, ah, I need to get that game. But due to deployment or whatever in the army, I never actually picked it up. On to hardware. While I picked that up, also picked up a PlayStation 2. Now I know what you're thinking. And yes, I do have a few of these. But this one works fine, so it's probably going to go into my son's room as a DVD player, and he can actually play PS2 games on it, which means that it'll probably become a Spyro machine. Now, seven bucks, came with the cables and everything, plugged it in and it worked. One of the other gaming consoles I got is a Genesis 2. Now, once again, I know what you're thinking. How many Genesis do you have now? Well, the answer is a few. But, I have a plan. One, I'm just going to leave it sit as a Genesis. This one's actually going to sit inside the Sega CD, so it just sits there and is happy. It, it makes sense to me. Don't, just don't, don't question it. But, uh, five bucks, picked it up, worked fine. The last thing that I got, and bear with me as I move to get this, is this lovely little beauty. This is a Panasonic DVD recorder. Now I got this idea uh, from James Rolfe, the angry video game nerd, for those of you who don't know who that is. Now he actually showed uh, a background of what how he records all of his games and he does it using one of these things, a DVD recorder. He plugs the, the things into the back and records on it and then he marks down what disc that gameplay footage is on. Then he can go back, pull up gameplay footage from whatever disc it was on and then use it to edit with. I thought, well, my way, which if you've seen that video, is convoluted, it sucks, it involves way too many plugs, and I had to solder the crap out of it and I screwed it up. So, decided to get this. It was $10 uh, and I got it home and of course it didn't work. So, being the, the, the good disciple of Luke that I am, uh, Luke Morris, by the way, not the guy from the... Anyways. I took it apart. I took it apart, and I looked at it, and I went, hmm, and I hawed, and I, I took a little bit of rubbing alcohol and Q-tip, and I went... On the lens, and worked just fine. So let that be a lesson to you, folks. If something's not working, tear it apart. Try it. Fix it. If it's already not working, what are you going to do to it? Make it not work more? Sorry, got a little bit preachy there. Uh, I do apologize for that. I'm probably uh, still the cold medicine going through my head. Anyways, uh, as always, I'm Jack Lair, and play on!